Welcome back. This right here is the race for the Big Ten West. Four teams left, identical conference records, three games to play. Wisconsin and Minnesota have the simplest route to get to the Big Ten West title or Big Ten championship, I should say. Purdue needs to win out and a little help. As for the Hawkeyes, well, their formula is doable. First, win out. That has to happen. Plus, you need Wisconsin to lose one of the final three games, and Purdue needs to lose one of their last three as well. Very possible Purdue plays Ohio State this week. Wisconsin has Minnesota the 27th. But the Hawkeyes have to hold up their end of the deal, and they have to do so without Spencer Petrus. Colin Cahill has more. For the first time since 2019, the Iowa Hawkeyes will have a new starter at quarterback as Alex Padilla takes over for an injured Spencer Petrus heading into a pivotal game with Minnesota for the Big Ten title race. November football is really important. Uh, team's got to be getting better at this time of the year. Could this team be getting better with a backup? Padilla went 18 of 28 for 172 yards passing. Not exactly blowing up the stat sheet, but for the first time in three weeks, the Hawks offense found the end zone twice in a game. Um, when I first got here, he was mainly the only quarterback going to Keegan and I. So I think we just we, we got our relationship going early and then him um, now starting out of the blue. I think it definitely helps that we started that in January as soon as I got here. Padilla's favorite targets, two freshman wide receivers. Yeah, they've earned everybody's confidence just through their play. And they practice the same way. They're focused. They're beyond, they're beyond their years focused uh, and take practice really seriously. And we do know one thing will be clear. If Padilla goes out and wins this weekend, that Coach Kirk Ferentz will have a very tough decision to make for the future. Reporting in Iowa City, Colin Cahill, Local 5 Sports. Back to you guys. The Hawkeyes and Gophers square off 2.30 p.m. on BTN Saturday afternoon. Iowa has won six in a row against those pesky Gophers. Now, take a look here at the top four teams in the Big 12 Conference. These are the ones who are still having a real chance at playing at Jerry World December 4th for a Big 12 title. These are the conference records. Oklahoma at 6-0, then you got OSU at 5-1, Baylor at 4-2, and, and Iowa State there with them as well at 4-2. Baylor currently has the tiebreaker over the Cyclones head-to-head. -head. So, for the Cyclones to make the Big 12 championship, they have to win out, then they need Baylor to lose one of their final three games. If those two things happen, then the Cyclones would play the winner of the Bedlam game. Pretty simple, right? Things could get a little hairy if Baylor wins this week hosting OU. That brings us to the Cyclones' end of this deal. It has to start with the win against Texas Tech this week, one that sets up as a bit of a trap game. We're a program that's going to play really close football games. The outcome is probably going to be an inch one way or an inch the other way. And yet we got to hinge on our, our process, understand our purpose. And then, man, we've got to do an incredible job at attacking the detail of the 60 minutes that we're guaranteed to play. I mean, we're not overthinking it or overcomplicating things. It's another game. We're just enjoying uh, each other um, and obviously still being competitive in everything that we do at practice and in the weight room and stuff. Nothing slacking in that area. Um, so we're definitely going to go into Saturday like it's a it's a big game and it is for us. Iowa State kicks off against Texas Tech at 2.30 on ESPN2. So you got to pick your poison there, Iowa or Iowa State. Matt Campbell has never lost to the Red Raiders, and Brees Hall will try to make it 22 straight games with a rushing touchdown. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back with one last look at the forecast next.